Hello everyone. I am Mr. S. Devendra Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangode. Welcome to my video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss for amalgamation. Okay. So when two or more companies, same in all respect, go to liquidation and form a new company or uh, take over their existing business, so that is called the amalgamation. So in amalgamation, in simple terms, uh, two or more existing companies liquidated, join together to form the new company. So that is called the amalgamation. For example, A and B or two is the existing company. The A and B are liquidated and to form the new company for C. So that is called the amalgamation. The next one is uh, absorption. So when an existing company is purchased another existing company, so that is called the absorption. So in this uh, scenario, there is no any new companies are formed. So that is called absorption. For example, A Limited <coughs> purchase or undertake the B Limited. So taken over. So that is called the absorption. The next one is uh, reconstruction. So the reconstruction is classified into two types. The first one is internal reconstruction. Then second one is external reconstruction. The internal reconstruction is the rearrangement of the company's existing capital structure. So that is called internal reconstruction. Um, external reconstruction means the sale of the business of existing company to another form of the proposed. That is called uh, X limited to form the further Y limited. The business, the stakeholders are same. The business name only will be changed. So that is called the uh, external reconstruction. The next one is the uh, types of amalgamation. We have two types of amalgamation. The first one is the nature of the merger. The uh, second one is the amalgamation and nature of the purchase. So all the assets and liabilities of vendor company became the after amalgamation, the assets and liabilities of purchase company to be taken over by the selling company. Right. The next one is purchase consideration. So purchase consideration is the amount which is paid by the purchase company for the purchase of business of the vendor company. So this is for the purchase consideration. In purchase consideration, we have four types. Then first one is lump sum method, net asset method, net payment method, then incentric value method. So lump sum method means the amount of purchase considered is given. So that is called uh, lump sum method. Uh, net asset method, the value of the company's assets and liabilities, the company, that means the purchasing company to value and assess the vend uh, vendor companies. The next one is the net payment method. The agreement between the selling and the purchasing company may specify the amount of payable is the shareholder, the selling company in the form of cash, share, debenture in the purchasing company. The last one is the incentric value method measures the value of an investment the based on its cash flow so that is called the uh, cash flow the pain incentive value method so these are the important things of the purchase consideration uh, so thank you for watching my video